Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. In this video, we're gonna show you how to charge your small form factor lithium iron phosphate and NMC batteries with our chargers. So the first thing you wanna do is determine what type of battery that you have and make sure you get the right charger for it. If you're buying a lithium iron phosphate, which is 12.8 volt, they can range anywhere from our older six amp hour batteries all the way up to our 30 amp hour batteries. You want to use our three amp 14.6 volt charger. So this charger will automatically reset the battery management system and all these if they happen to fully deplete. Uh, or if you need to reset the batteries and charge them fully. You cannot use any other type of charger, voltage charger with them. There's a lot of options out there. Unfortunately, lower voltage chargers, 12 and a half, 13 and a half volt chargers will not properly or fully charge these batteries. On our NMC lineup, we include a charger with those. It could be a five amp or six amp charger. Uh, these will output 16.8 volts, which is required to fully charge this battery and no other charger can be used with them. So charging is as simple as taking your AC plug, plugging it into the wall. I always recommend plugging into a wall and not an extension cord that ensures that you have proper voltage going to it. You will notice that light on the charger then turns green. That means that it's getting proper voltage from the AC power source. From there, you can connect either your alligator clips to this and connect that directly to the battery. Or if you have the quick connects, they can stay attached to your battery and then your electronics connect directly to those. Highly recommend using that, it's a great feature. Once you plug in that SAE plug, you'll notice that the light on the charger illuminates red. Red means it's charging. If it's green, it does not mean it's charging. That means that either it's not connected properly, it's not getting a good connection, that or the battery is fully charged. So you wanna make sure it's red um, and that's a great indication that, hey, my battery's charging. Once it's full, then this will go back and turn to green. From there, you can disconnect the DC to the actual battery itself. You'll notice it's still green. Always disconnect your AC power source when you're done charging. It's not a good idea to keep these connected to the wall all the time. Just adds more wear and tear on that charger. The NMC chargers work the exact same way. Plug it in, plug it into the battery, lights red when charging. When it's full, it will turn green, indicating it's fully charged. Be aware that with these chargers, yes, they will get warm. You are converting voltage and they will get a little warm. We have safety feature built into them so that way if they get to a certain temperature, they'll decrease the amount of amperage output on them to cool the charger down itself. You will also notice that sometimes it takes a little bit longer to charge the battery. So for example, if I have a three amp charger, Charging a 30 amp hour battery, if it takes more than 10 hours, that's just fine. Towards the end of the charge process on all of our chargers, they'll ramp down the amperage going out to the battery itself. What that does, it allows proper cell balancing and really extends the life expectancy of the battery products. So that's how our lithium battery chargers work. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, sales at ampedoutdoors.com. We appreciate you for watching. Thank you.